do tasers actually work? Well, let's walk over to Dr. Ron Martinelli. He's a forensic investigator. And Ron, what do people not understand about tasers? Well, two things. Number one, uh, they believe tasers work all the time. Electronic weapons rarely work all the time. Uh, historically, they tend to be about 60% effective. Number two, uh, the amount of uh, energy that goes into the body, electrical energy. Uh, 50,000 volts comes out of uh, this particular electronic weapon. However, only about 500 to about 1,500 of those volts with almost no amperage enters the body. So what does that feel like? Uh, it feels kind of like uh, sticking your finger in a light socket. It's uh, extremely painful. Uh, it can be confusing and disorienting. Okay, so where do you not want to hit somebody with a taser? Good question. We're going to use uh, Bob here, all right? We want to try to avoid uh, shots to the thoracic area, okay, where the heart would be. They are actually trained, and I do a lot of this training, uh, to shoot uh, at the back of the individual, and it makes a lot of sense because it's away from the heart area, plus this is where the major muscle groups of the body are. So if you hit someone with a, a taser, it has two probes inside. If they both hit, what is the expected outcome? What do you want to have happen to this person? Great. Well, first of all, uh, it's important where the, the probes do hit. First of all, they have to hit or else no electronic energy is delivered into the body. We refer to electronic energy as load. The second thing, as the great and the easy thing to remember, is the greater the distance between the electrical probe and the ground probe, the better the opportunity to create neuromuscular incapacitation where the person seizes up, locks up muscles, locks up joints, and falls forward or backwards. All right, let's take a look at what this looks like in action. We're just gonna activate the weapon by taking the safety off onto fire. We're gonna come up on our target, We're gonna put our laser beam on the target in the upper back area. And you'll notice, Stephanie, I can't the taser. In other words, I turn it about 20 degrees because I want a nice spread across the back. Mm. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Are you ready to go? Let's go. So it automatically cycles for five seconds. We've got a very nice spread, pretty much exactly what I said. You saw where the laser beam was. If the stars were aligned and everything was good, uh, we would create neuromuscular incapacitation. That person would seize up and fall. And fall. So are tasers non-lethal or are they really less lethal? Well, Stephanie, electronic weapons are classified as less lethal weapons. So someone could die from them, but they're not designed to kill people. Exactly right.